Hey folks, welcome back to Fantastic Daily where I make the creepy and the unexplained entertaining for all of you. Fantastic Daily was a popular conspiracy-ish channel on YouTube. The reason I say ish is because he wasn't like a UFO TV or even Secure Team 10 for that matter, but an interesting storyteller. Regardless of if it was real, fake, or questionable, Fantastic Daily told of events that baffled people on a supernatural level. He was able to entertain in a way that made you question what it truly was that you believed in. This was what attracted so many people to his channel. During the course of about two years, he acquired tens of thousands of subscribers and millions of views on his videos discussing and reporting the paranormal. So, what happened to Fantastic Daily? Don't get me wrong, YouTube channels come and go, and Fantastic Daily was by no means a big channel according to today's standards. But what makes his disappearance from the internet weird is the content that he covered. UFOs, government conspiracies, missing 411s, fourth dimensional creatures, black eyed kids, the supernatural and paranormal, some pretty serious stuff. It's not so strange for people to think that his disappearance was a little more than a coincidence. On the YouTube side of things, his channel and videos have all been deleted. Maybe he was done making videos. If he was, why would he have deleted all of his content? Okay, well, maybe YouTube struck him down for something. Perhaps. Uh, and this is what I thought until hopping over to his Instagram to find more answers. The problem was, his Instagram no longer existed. Fantastic Daily, along with all of his posts, had been purged from the site. The same can be said with his Twitter, Reddit, and even Facebook, all gone. Well, that's odd. If YouTube deleted his channel, all of his other social media shouldn't have gone with it. It must have been deliberate. But why? Everything led to a dead end. Desperate for answers, I did a broad Google search of anything relating to Fantastic Daily. The first thing I came up was a YouTube channel by the name of Red Hot Punch. The channel had no videos or other content. Considering YouTube's specific search algorithms that included former names and titles of videos and channels, this was probably Fantastic Daily's channel, renamed and without content. Okay, so why did he change his name and delete his videos? On top of that, FD's merchandise is still for sale on various websites, but the accounts of all of these sites had been renamed to Red Hot Punch. This is the same with his podcasts and live streams that haven't been taken down all throughout the internet. Who is Red Hot Punch? And why does he now have control of everything Fantastic Daily? Despite the complete internet purge, one thing that did survive was the Fantastic Daily subreddit. Luckily, a few people were already asking the same questions I was. On his reddit, I was able to find a link to the Red Hot Punch Twitter, which I quickly investigated. On it were a series of cryptic tweets from July 1st, somewhat explaining what was going on. At first in the thread, it appears that RHP really is Fantastic Daily. RHP explains that he had not been hacked or anything, quote, technically, and the whole situation was too complicated to get into on Twitter. This was all too strange. Then in a later tweet, he revealed that he would release more details in a new video set to release soon. Obviously, this left many people speculating and asking what really happened. Unfortunately, there were no clues or paper trails for people to look for them on. 
The last and most recent tweet on the Red Hot Punch Twitter is a video captioned, This is important. The video in question is the Family Matters intro. However, all of the faces of the characters are replaced with that of Mike Tyson. It seems like it belongs more on a meme compilation rather than on this controversial Twitter thread. But I speculate that there's a deeper meaning to this tweet itself. If you have been following the news lately, you'll know that motion tracking technology has been steadily evolving to the point that you can swap faces with almost anyone. This is startling to some because of the approaching possibility that you could use this technology to make anyone appear to say anything without their knowledge. In fact, this is becoming such a real possibility that many are questioning the reliability of video evidence in court. This tweet opens a great many possibilities, but nothing will be certain until Red Hot Punch releases this supposed explanation video. A great many people, including myself, are sad to see FD's channel gone and his videos deleted. A large part of my youth I spent infatuated with the supernatural. Fantastic Daily's content has allowed me and many others to return to that childlike state of curiosity in the unknown. Thanks for watching, and as FD always says, stay skeptical.